Hey guys, welcome back. This is Golden Badger. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with another episode of the, the, the military let's play of State of Decay 2. But before we go into the episode, um, I want to ask you guys to uh, thumbs up the video if you enjoy uh, today's video. Let's set a goal for about 10 to 15 likes. I think we can manage that. Uh, if you find yourself enjoying the video, um, please make sure to subscribe to my channel as well so you get notifications each time I upload a new episode, which should be daily, but it, it may vary because I've got some plans. Um, and yeah, guys, in the last episode, I basically told you that this was going to be a military let's play, so I will not recruit any survivors unless they are wearing military fatigues or maybe some like special cases that, that we'll, we'll see when we get there. And I've also got some rules, uh, rules set out for this let's play that I will read to you now. So, the first one, and this is a, a very, very important rule. When you get infected, you die. So, if you get blood plague, and not like the little bar, the black and white bar, but the bar with the cool, the countdown, and if the, ca the, the counter hits zero, you turn into a zombie. Once you get that, you get euthanized. You get shot in the freaking head. You're not getting healed. You're not getting cured. This is the freaking zombie apocalypse and there is no cure. Once you get infected, you die. That's it. That's rule number one. Rule number two, like I said before, only military personnel. So no, no, civ no, no civvies, okay? No, uh, no civilians. Um, then, and the third rule is, this is going to be a warlord playthrough. And, I mean, I'm gonna be a dick in this Let's Play because everybody on YouTube is doing a nice Sheriff Let's Play or whatever, or Builder or Trader. Not me. We're doing Warlord and we're going to be assholes. So, if somebody steals our meds, we're killing them. If there's an, an enemy enclave that wants us out, we're killing each and every one of those guys. We are power. We are guns. We are everything. We are taking every precaution to survive. And we're playing it hardcore, okay? So that's that. Th that are the rules of this let's play. If you do not agree, please go watch another YouTube's, another YouTuber's let's play. Um, I I'm not doing that. Okay. So let's talk to the survivors out here. Uh, help you out. Let's trade to see what yeah. they got. Wanna trade? So yeah, I'm I'm sorry, but that's that's the way it's gonna go around here. That's the way I'm gonna play the let's play. And if you don't like it, well, this isn't for you. I mean, I've done multiple Let's Plays already, and yeah, this is basically the first. The safest way to collect samples. I'm sorry. So the first mission to uh, getting a, a, a plague heart cure that we will not get because we're not going to use it. Okay, that's that's the rule. So let's salute this place here. I don't care. We're doing fast search. We don't have the time. Some materials also always useful. There's a zombie in there. Uh, there's a blade card sample right here. A blood plague sample. I mean. Let's we let's see if we can already do some upgrades um, in the base, but we can't just yet. Um, yeah, so we're now gonna be. Yeah, I, I know we lost this car. It was stuck. Uh, so that's our home, and there should be. A car nearby. Let's see, right there. Survey car without any fuel, but we do have fuel, so we can go for that one. Or I think there was a Norma truck somewhere, right here maybe. Yeah, Norma truck. So let's go to the Norma truck and make a beeline for the play cart. So. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm very, very uh, excited to do a Let's Play. I'm sorry if the editing's a little off. I'm recording my audio and my game on two separate computers. Uh, like, I'm playing the game on my Xbox, and no, I don't have the chance to use a mod, a mod tool in this game. I'm so sorry for that, but I, I can't, because I don't have a computer that can run the game, and um, there's no mods on Xbox, so please bear that in mind. Don't get angry or something like that. I just, I just can't do it. Okay, I'll try to if there's a, a a way for me to do it, but I don't think there is. So let's just quickly check if there's anything at all we can use. Uh, some food is always like useful. Um, we might come back for that later with a rucksack, uh, with a car. Yep, that's not yeah, some parts. Uh, we got some Zeds coming in. That's one down. 
That's another one down. Hey, what's up, beautiful? Good night. Okay, so I know I said I was going to only record at daytime, during the daytime. But I kind of like playing at night. I don't know what it is. It's just nice. Some people find it scary. I, I really like it. It gets that survival feel, I, I think. It, it gives you like a, a feeling of you have to be careful at all times. And that's also why I'm implementing the infected rule. Like, you get infected. I'm sorry to say, buddy. I mean, I don't care how awesome you are. If you get bitten to the point where you have risk of becoming a zombie unless you get a cure, you are done for. You are dead and you are... I mean, you're getting a bullet to the head. I mean, I don't care if we're boyfriend, girlfriend, mom, dad, grandpa, grandma, you are going to die. I might have a cure in my hand, I don't care. You're dying, I don't care. So, yeah, that's the first rule. And uh, it's a rule I've been playing with for quite a while now. And I really enjoy it. It gives you like a true zombie apocalypse feel, so. Oh, sorry, bumped the mic there. Uh, let's see, we don't have a car, so I'm not going to loot everything we come across. As well as, uh, guys, if you didn't know, loot doesn't respawn. Yeah, that's right. If you loot a house, and you log off five times, you log on, log back on five times, the loot is still gone. But that also means, when you drop a rucksack or some items, it will not despawn either, so that's pretty useful. Um, but it basically does mean, if you have you drained your map, of all the loot and all the resources you have to move maps now if you love the map like for example you wanna you really want to live in meager valley you're gonna have to move back to meager valley and all the loot will have respawned so that's I mean that's fair that's a fair point um, it's not very realistic but hey that's it and we are probably going to move once we have enough survivors because my goal is the container fort and yeah it's my favorite con it's my favorite home base in the game so basically it's my favorite base in the game and I really want to live there I know this this map has a, ni a lot of nice bases as well but I don't like them as much as the container fort so here we go we're at the plague heart Okay, we got another sample there, she's dead as well, let's get out. Okay, so that's a regular Zed, let's not wait to waste a bullet, there we go, get a nice kill there, a nice clean knife to the head, is always a good idea, always. I found another plague. We have two Molotovs, so we could take on the plague heart if we hey why not this is going to be an exciting let's play so now of course I have to live by my rules so if I can if I get blood plague right now I am so sorry but he's dying like I said before and I know I'm saying it a lot but it's because I mean it oh okay I should have seen that one. Oh shit I looted oh shit 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 Wow, here I go. I didn't watch my stamina enough. Let's go to the corner here. Oh, gosh. Fuck y'all. I don't care. Let's move. Um, okay. We need to get on top of the roof right now. Man, this is not going according to plan. So let's wait for that stamina. Thank you. We have a bandage. Let's use that. Okay, here we go. So let's use this. Kill you. Oh, no, let's wait with that. Let's wait a couple of seconds to see if we can clear some, some Zeds out because the recording is going to stop and I have to be able to um, to reactivate it so that everything gets caught on camera and I can upload it to YouTube so yeah let's chill out here for a bit okay here we go again so 
<clears throat> sorry for that little editing piece there. Um, yeah, we were taking on a Plague Heart. So if you didn't know, a Plague Heart gives you a guaranteed m amount of four to five uh, Plague Samples. So it's always useful to take them out if you need it for your cure or anything like that. But as I said before, we're not going to use it. Let's dodge because that those fumes actually fuck you up real good. Uh, there's a sample right there, which I'm not going to use. I'm not going to take just yet. Let's wait up. Let's dodge and get the hell out of here. I need to check my environment. Okay. See ya. Okay, so we're entering the building now. So sorry. Yeah, that was the last one. Um, let's throw that out there. That's a little distraction there. Alright, let's take out the final little bit of health it has. Boom, we got it. Here we go. So we get four Blake samples. It's gonna like get fumes out there, which we don't need yet. And here we go. So we have enough Plague Heart samples to give these people right here. All right, let's drive all the way there. Like I said in the last episode, one one of the things I love about this map is that it has the op the possibility to drive across all the acres and uh, let's let's watch out there and you can basically go, go straight to your objective from anywhere as a crow flies let's drive up the, up the little hill here get rid of that guy okay so let's guys I want to know your opinion what is your favorite way to play State of Decay? Please let me know in the comments below. Um, what is your favorite builder, uh, like leader type? What's your favorite way to play? Uh, like I said before, mine is to kill anyone who is infected. Let's let them talk here. Okay. I don't want it. Thank you. No, I, I wish there was an option to say no thank you but whatever we don't need it anyway uh, we can threaten them but they're do they're not a threat just yet if they keep asking for us to do something for them we might actually do it but not right now so there was a place that we had uh, we had looted we had to come back to oh there's the Zed okay um, there was a place that I had uh, not finished looting yet which I mean, it's dark. I don't really know where it was. Oh, here's their vehicle. Let's actually... No, 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 no. Don't get stuck either. Uh, as well, I mean. Nah, it's stuck as fuck. Um, okay. Uh, guys, this episode's not going according to plan. I'm sorry. But I'm doing my best. Let's keep moving. Keep these guys occupied. Alrighty. I don't know where we're going, but... I mean, I'll see when we get there. Oh, yeah, we're here. Okay, fine. Well, let's touch home base just quick. And maybe change characters. So, my plan right now is to get a bunch of subscri uh, subscribers. A bunch of survivors and move home base to a container fort. Yes, that's right. I'm not going to try and move anywhere on the map. Maybe Camp Kalinqua. That's the one base I love about this map. That's... That's basically my favorite base in the game. That's this one right here, Camp Kalenqua. It's beautiful. It's a campsite as well. Um, but yeah, uh, guys, let me know in the comments what would your plan be if there was a zombie apocalypse. What would you? What would your survival strategy be? 
Okay, we need we need fuel and stuff. We need resources quick. Ah shit. I dodged it though. Here we go, fighting level 3, cardio level 3, it's pretty good, um, okay. That's one glitch that I don't get, is when you touch a vehicle that's standing still, and it just, I mean, bumps bumps into you, I don't get that. Uh, okay, let's build an infirmary for passive healing when we're gone, let's build a workshop so we can repair our weapons, and then the rest is optional. So I usually opt for a farm just for that extra food income which is it's it's pretty useful you can always go for a still it's not bad but uh, hydroponics are also very very well uh, very good to have in your base uh, kitchen too but there's already a kitchen in this one so and then morale training whatever and don't need that right now uh, let's go for a farm when we have enough materials so right now our objective is to go right somewhere over here maybe so we have a tartan mart for food we have barbecue for food as well gas station and a farm let's let's just go out scavenging right now what are your skills fighting one okay hand to hand um okay we're going with him uh, I don't know where we're going just yet um, we'll, we'll see when we get there uh, let's change up backpacks real quick can you please move okay here we go so um, let's see Ooh, we don't have any backpacks yet so this is gonna be tough um, but that's the beautiful thing about having pre-ordered the game supply drops ultimate edition supply drop here we go where to drop right there it's not too far but it's yeah whatever let's just go get it right now level up that cardio while we're at it maybe we can loot this nope okay um it should have two eight slot backpacks hiking backpacks and then also a silencer or two silencers some uh, first aid kits all right, nice pull there. So a silencer, two first aid kits, a backpack. Let's take it all. Oh, one of those guys. Okay. What the heck do you want? There we go. Yeah, no room for that. Yeah, we don't need it anyway. We're not using. Um, blood plate cures. So, uh, guys, with uh, having you all told that this is going to be the way I play the game, um, I told you the rules of the let's play. Um, we did. We completed our first mission. We got the blood blood plague heart, and I think it's about time to end the episode. Um, I'll go out scavenge off screen a little bit so that we're all good on medication and fuel. Uh, maybe food and materials as well. Ammo is is just a thing that we'll we'll go look for before we change maps. But um, maybe I can change it. I can end the episode here. So uh, I really hope you enjoyed the let's play. I know um, it's a little hard to talk when you're talking by yourself and find a good topic to talk about. But it's something I'm gonna work on in the future. Um, if you find yourself enjoying the let's play, make sure to hit the like button down below. Like I said. 10 to 15 likes is my goal right now. Uh, if you enjoy the, the, the Let's Play and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Hit that notification button so you get a notification each time I upload a new episode. And uh, comment down below what you like about the channel, what you don't like, what your plan is for the apocalypse, whatever is your favorite playstyle. Okay, talk to me. There's also a Twitter you can follow me at and a Discord in the description as well. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for your attention today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.